If you look at the statistics around the world, around 24% of the global disease burden occurs in sub-Saharan Africa where there are 1% of the medical staff of the world workforce. And so as a paediatric emergency physician, one of the things I'm doing is working on establishing East Africa's first training program in paediatric emergency and critical care. There's nowhere between Cairo and Cape Town that a paediatrician can learn how to work in an intensive care unit or resuscitate a baby with complex emergency skills. In order to save lives, you can't just go and do some medical care for a month or two or six. In order to capacity build, you want to increase the capacity of the health workforce, and that's doctors, that's nurses, that's physician assistants, that's first responders, that's community health, building into the health of the entire community from the bottom to the top. Many doctors fall into leadership and we're not usually equipped during 12 or 15 years of training in leadership principles, in any understanding of budgeting or finance in any real terms, in marketing or resource mobilisation, in growing a team in strength. And I found myself in a leadership role at the hospital and recognising there were deficits and having an idea how to approach them but not a good framework. And an MBA, I'm hoping, will not only equip me in leadership and management, but enable me to capacity build in healthcare in the region with other doctors who are in exactly the same position that I'm in. Some people have asked why I haven't done a healthcare MBA. Why pick a general MBA? The cohort here is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted people from a cross section of industries. I wanted a global cohort. And there are people here from different nations and I haven't met two people from the same industry yet. And learning from the collective wisdom of everyone else's leadership experience as we work through problems together is a huge benefit of this program. I work in the not-for-profit sector in Kenya. I don't earn a salary from the hospital there. Without this scholarship, I simply couldn't have done the program. This has made the difference not just for me, but for my hospital, the team that I'm equipping and the region. Scholarships are hugely important. It's not just the financial aspect of it, it's the encouragement of knowing this is a valued area that Melbourne Business School wants to invest in. 